Hi, I'm Melissa and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about anger, how it gets in the way of manifesting people specifically, and what you can do about it. So the first thing about anger is it really blocks us from being able to manifest people in the versions that we want them to be in our reality. So if you are trying to manifest a different version of a person that you care about in your life and it's not coming through, I'd be willing to bet there's some underlying anger there that you haven't been able to let go of. Whether or not it's conscious, you might wanna figure that out. Um, so a great way to do that would be free writing about that person, writing your experience with them, not necessarily what you want with them, but how you feel about them, what's happened, that kind of thing. Because you're going to want to identify the anger piece. If you don't identify the anger piece, it is really hard to get someone to show up in your reality how you want them to show up. So once you have your anger identified, the next thing you want to do is clear it. And clearing anger is really interesting because when we think about what anger actually is, it is that person that did something to us has actually triggered a belief we have about ourselves. So if they've treated you poorly, they may have triggered a belief that you, you have no value. It is going to be a deeper underlying, possibly a childhood belief that you haven't yet cleared. Once you have that part of the anger figured out, you can really look at what's the next thing you can do to solve the anger. And the way that we clear anger is to realize that when we're upset at somebody for whatever they did, knowing that really what they did is just triggering something in us, even if it's just someone on social media that makes you angry, they're still triggering something in you, a belief that you have about you that you don't like looking at. And yeah, this isn't this isn't this isn't like a glamorous um, way to look at anger. And you know, you might ask, well, what about people who have been attacked, you know, randomly, or you know, like by a stranger, or victimized or abused in some way? They have a right to be angry. It's not triggering something in them, but it is triggering something in them. It's triggering a sense of unsafety or there's something in there that is being triggered by a person who has anger towards another person. So the next thing you want to do once you realize that anger is really just being triggered is look at how you can take care of yourself in this way. Because when you're mad at someone else, what's actually going on is self abandonment. There's something inside of you that needs tending to, caring for, love and compassion, and you are the only person who can give it. We can hope that other people will show up for us in ways that we want them to, and they might sometimes, they might most of the time, but nobody's going to be able to show up for us as perfectly and as like, like a perfect fit as we can show up for ourselves. So what that looks like is going inside and identifying what is that belief? Is it a belief of worthlessness, unworthiness, feeling not safe? What is the belief? And then going in and dialoguing with that part of you that has the belief and listening to that part of you. So asking it questions like, tell me more, tell me everything, I wanna hear it all. And not arguing with it, not telling it it's gonna be okay, not trying to stop its, its conscious flow at all, just allowing that part to say anything and everything that comes up. And it's really, really important for you to stay the observer and not blend with the part that's explaining to you its fears or its beliefs. So what does blending mean? Blending means that when your part is telling you about the anger that it's feeling or the fear that it's having or the belief that it's wrestling with, that you don't become that belief and you don't take it on and your whole mind is kind of washed over with this part. I almost think of parts as we can kind of dialogue with them like they're ghosts. Um, 
But you know, when a ghost comes in you and hijacks you and pretty much possesses you, you do not want that to happen. You want it to be outside of you. Well, it's actually like more inside of you, but you don't want your whole like self to be taken over by this anger part. You just wanna stay super, super separate. Sometimes it's hard to know if we're blended or not. If we're not feeling good, if we are getting uncomfortable feelings in our body, then you can bet you're probably blended with your part. And all that's required is just going into a noticing state of being like, yeah, I'm feeling this anger right now. I'm feeling worthless right now. And then imagining a separation between worthlessness and your your soul or your self energy or your God self, however you want to conceptualize a separate kind of untouchable part of you that doesn't get pulled into every any scenario. And from that, that part of you interviewing the anger. So I hope this made sense, but if you are struggling to manifest um, an SP, a family member, anyone, guarantee there's some residual anger underneath it all. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is look at what it's triggering inside you, look at what belief inside you it's making you look at the second thing you're going to want to do is work with that part work with that fearful underlying belief that might be coming up comfort yourself don't abandon yourself really work on that relationship to self and then you can begin to use your imagination to imagine this person differently if you cleared that anger completely they should manifest back into your life in the way that you want them to all right thank you for watching i hope you have a great day Bye.